live from WPRI 12. This is Eyewitness News at 5.30. Coverage you can count on. Now at 5.30, a huge victory for homeowners. How a new law just signed by the governor will affect you if you're in the market for a new home. New security concerns for Pope Francis tonight after his car was mobbed during his first day in Brazil. First at 5.30 tonight, transportation officials are working on a safety plan aimed at preventing more tragedy on a Rhode Island roadway. It comes following a string of serious crashes on Route 102 in Burraville this month, including two that killed three people. Officials say their plan is similar to one put in place by another local town. From the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is in Burraville now with more on what he's learned. The police say after a few devastating weeks here, changes are coming to try to help save lives. A scene all too familiar on Route 102 in Burraville. Emergency crews rushing to a fatal accident. We've seen some devastation here in the past two weeks, three weeks, and it's just not necessary. People have to pay attention. In the last few weeks, several people have died in wrecks. That includes 19-year-old Shannon Heil and Markel Torres. Burrowville police cracked down on speed limits and driver distractions, and in just one week, issued 126 summons for drivers. Major Larry Guglietta was surprised by the number. The problem is, is we've been on the media. We've been on our Facebook page. We've gone on our website. We're putting information out that uh, this is an area that we're watching, and we're still getting people violating the law, which is unfortunate. On this road, the Department of Transportation is making changes to keep it safer, eventually adding a space between lanes and putting in a rumble strip in between. It's a way to wake up drivers crossing the center line. When you have two back-to-back -back and a third accident that could have been a fatal within two weeks, I mean, you have to take notice. And that's what's happening. Now they're also adding more signs. The changes are similar to what was done on Route 6 in Foster. But in the end, Guglietta says the most important change is an alert driver. It comes down to being the driver that you're supposed to be. Pay attention to the laws, pay attention to the roadway. You never know what's going to go on around you within seconds. Have to be alert, have to be vigilant. Now expect to see some of those changes start to take place just within the next couple of weeks. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Now we're tracking a live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. More showers and thunderstorms are heading into southern New England. The rain could cause street flooding in some areas. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is live in the weather yard with more on what he's tracking. Hi, Tony. Hi. I mean, outside our studios here in East Providence, the sun is still shining, but it's a different story. North and west of Providence, northwest corner of the state. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Let me show you what I'm tracking. It's a line of strong thunderstorms, that area of orange and yellow, which essentially stretches from Boston through southern Worcester County over the uh, northern Rhode Island border, northwest Rhode Island and eastern Connecticut. The whole line itself is uh, tracking off to the east and southeast. Now that thunderstorm cell in the northwest corner of the state, strong to potentially severe. I mean, downpours, some frequent lightning, the potential for some gusty wind, as well as some small hail as the whole line shifts off to the uh, south and east. And this is why a flash flood watch is in effect until 8 o'clock this evening for the areas in green. Where it's red, it's a flash flood warning with ongoing downpours and some street flooding. So bottom line, with some of these downpours, the potential is there for some brief localized street flooding as this line works down from the northwest corner of the state. So you can see the sky is getting dark right now in downtown Providence, especially off to the right-hand side. That represents the looking towards the north and west. So thunderstorms, some with downpours now through about 8 o'clock this evening. Beyond that, things will tend to quiet down as temperatures settle back through the low and middle 70s. But uh, those storms Storms to our north and west. Again, a lot of downpours and some gusty wind. We'll be watching it in the next 60 to 90 minutes. The full forecast coming up in just a bit. All right, thank you, Tony. Now at 5.30, we're tracking new developments on the Navy kickback scheme we've been tracking for years. The man who admitted to leading the scheme may withdraw his guilty plea. In a court filing last week, the lawyer for Ralph Mariano told a federal judge he believes there may be grounds to take back the plea. The former civilian Navy employee is one of six people who have pleaded guilty in the scheme that cost the Navy $18 million. He is scheduled to be sentenced in September. A Taunton man is under arrest tonight, accused of breaking into a city home. Now, here's a look at the suspect, Adrian Carrillo. Now, according to Taunton Police Department's Facebook page, a resident returned to their Floral Street apartment yesterday afternoon to find that the suspect found his way inside. 
The 22-year-old had a knife and a duffel bag and reportedly broke in through a window. Police later tracked Carrillo down on Benefit Street and took him into custody. Pope Francis is resting today after he arrived in Rio de Janeiro for a seven-day trip. As soon as he landed, new security issues surfaced. The Brazilian army found a homemade bomb at a shrine that the Pope intends to visit. And yesterday, hundreds of people rushed his car during an unscheduled stop. Eyewitness News reporter Adriana Diaz has the latest developments tonight. A huge crowd of enthusiastic Brazilians rushed the Pope's car after his motorcade made a wrong turn and hit traffic. He wasn't riding in a bulletproof Pope mobile. The unscheduled stop instantly created security concerns for about three dozen Vatican and Brazilian security officers who were in charge of the Pope's safety. If you're running security, what you do not want to be involved in is what they call a choke point, and that's where there's no way in, no way to go forward, no way to go backwards, and no way to control the situation, and that's what happened yesterday. The Vatican says the Pope's aide was frightened, but Pope Francis was happy for a chance to greet the faithful. At one point, he even asked a mother to hand over her baby for a kiss. Officials also found a small homemade explosive device at a shrine the Pope will visit Wednesday. Some people here see the Pope's visit as an opportunity to bring attention to their frustrations with the government. During tough economic times, some are angry that Brazil spent $52 million to prepare the city for the pontiff. On Monday, police clashed with anti-government demonstrators. More protests are planned this week from groups who oppose the church views on abortion and homosexuality. More than 120 million Catholics live in Brazil, and up to a million more are expected in Rio this week for a youth festival. The Argentine-born Pope hopes to connect with young people on his home continent and ignite their faith in the church. On Thursday, the Pope will visit one of Brazil's shanty towns. Now at 5.30, meet the baby prince. Prince William and his wife Kate have showed off to the world their new baby boy on Tuesday afternoon. Now you can head over to WDPRI.com to catch a first glimpse of the youngest member of the royal family outside of St. Mary's Hospital in London. Plus, there is more to a royal name than you may think. Find out more about the process of choosing the new prince's name. It's all on our homepage under continuing coverage. Time now for Eyewitness News Jam Cam Traffic. Let's get right to Jay Rogers with an update. Hi, Jay. Hey, Mike, right now, traffic on 95 southbound is slowing down from before exit 24 Branch Avenue. Delays start around exit 25 Smithfield Avenue, uh, getting down to 146, and uh, then again in between exits 21 and 18. Elsewhere, if you're traveling on 195 westbound, seeing speeds there in the uh, 30s and 20s from Broadway. It's slow all the way out to 95, eastbound from 95 to the Washington Bridge. Back out to the highways we go. If you're uh, traveling on the 6th, 10. Uh, that is currently uh, looking slow inbound and outbound. Delays start at Dean. Why with the Jam Cam traffic, I'm Jay Rogers, Avenue News. Thank you, Jay. We have more coverage you can count on. Coming up new at 530, statue vandalized. Police are searching for suspects after a popular children's character is covered in spray paint. Door-to-door -door delivery service may be coming to an end. Why lawmakers want to overhaul the U.S. Postal Service. And new at 6, deadly construction accident. A worker dies after falling off a local bridge. We'll have the latest in a live report. News from the online leader, WPRI.com. Brought to you by Cardi's Furniture. 20 convenient locations offering same-day mattress eye delivery. Casey Jackson tweets, oh, it's cool. It's not like I had plans or anything. Hashtag stupid car. Casey, stop by the Honda Summer Clearance event and get a great deal on a new Civic. It comes standard with Bluetooth and Pandora compatibility. So instead of being all hashtag stupid car, you could be all... Hashtag yee Get a great deal on the fuel-efficient Civic at the Honda Summer Clearance event. Happening now. See why more people are getting their late news from Eyewitness News. Covering what's happening new at night. Digging deeper to uncover why things happen. Tracking severe weather to help you plan and prepare. News anchors who understand the stories that impact our community. Put it all together and get Rhode Island's most watched late local news. See for yourself Eyewitness News every night at 10 on Fox Providence or at 11 on WPRI 12. 
Be advised. This is a once in a lifetime chance to save up to 80% on a spa and swim spa this weekend only. Millions of dollars in Factory Direct 2013 inventory. Rhode Island Convention Center, Providence. Over 100 spas on display and everything must go. See the revolutionary swim spa. You can exercise, swim, and relax without the expense and maintenance of a pool. Spa is starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. 12 month interest free financing. Trade ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old spa this weekend only. Rhode Island Convention Center, Providence. Free admission. Free parking. Call 877 55 Hot Tub. Since 1935, at the Hurt Auto Mall, we've run our business around one guiding principle, and that's to offer you more than any other dealership in Rhode Island. With over 800 cars, trucks, and SUVs, we offer you more choices than anywhere else. And with our family pricing guarantee, no one will ever beat our prices. So come drive the highest quality cars and trucks sold in America. And let us treat you like family. Heard Chevrolet and Heard Buick GMC, where you can send your friends. And family. A notorious Rockefeller imposter loses his bid to delay his sentencing in a cold case murder. Christian Gerhardt's writer scheduled to be sentenced next month. He said he needed more time to go over trial transcripts to find legal errors. But a judge said that would be fishing expedition and saw no reason to put it off. Gerhardt's writer was convicted of killing his landlady's son in California back in the 1980s. That case was reopened after he was convicted of kidnapping his own daughter in Boston in 2009 when he went by the name Clark Rockefeller. A statue from a character in a popular children's book is found vandalized in a local park. Westerly police say the runaway bunny in Wilcox Park was spray painted with the letters KKK and other vulgar words. They believe it was vandalized either Friday night or Saturday morning. The statue was installed in the park 15 years ago. The park is worried about cleaning the statue without damaging it. They have had no success so far. Coming up next. A follow-up to a number of reports we've done on the lack of oversight when it comes to home inspectors. Now a bill has been signed into law. What it means for you, coming up. I am tracking a line of heavy downpours and thunderstorms in the northwest corner of the state, getting closer to the Providence metro area. All the important details, including a flash flood watch, coming up next. The new at six, a teenager swept out to sea. Today we head back to that same sandbar and learn why it can be a dangerous spot for spectators. Their day, more and more people are counting on Eyewitness News this morning for their local news and weather coverage. Thank you for making Eyewitness News the fastest growing morning news in southern New England. Eyewitness News this morning, weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WPRI 12. And the only local news on from 7 to 9 on Fox Providence. Ten years is a long time. A hundred thousand miles is a lot of adventures. So choose the right car. The Hyundai Santa Fe comes with the assurance of America's best warranty. Ten years, a hundred thousand miles. Now, during the Hundred Thousand Reasons event, you can add award-winning safety to the list of reasons to get a Santa Fe. Here's another great reason. Now, get a Santa Fe Sport for two sixty-nine a month. Only at your local Hyundai dealer. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time event. This weekend only. Rhode Island Convention Center, Providence. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2013 inventory. 12 months interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. This weekend only. Rhode Island Convention Center, Providence. Free admission. Free parking. Call 877-55-HOT-TUB. Don't miss the final days of the Bok Toyota South Summer Savings Event. At Bok Toyota South, we have everything you're looking for, all at legendary low Bok Toyota South prices. Drive home a brand new Toyota Corolla for only $89 per month. That's right, lease a brand new Toyota Corolla with automatic transmission that gets 34 miles per gallon for only $89 per month. The Mercedes-Benz Summer Event is here. Now get the unmistakable thrill and the incredible rush of the Mercedes-Benz you've always wanted. But you better get here fast. Hey, Daddy's here. Here you go, honey. Thank you. Because a good thing like this won't last forever. See your authorized dealer for an incredible offer on the exhilarating C300 Formatic Sports Sedan. But hurry. Offers end July 31st. 
Have a story that needs investigating? Email Target12 at WPRI.com. Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A follow-up to a story we've been reporting on for more than a year. We expose how anyone can become a home inspector here in Rhode Island. No proof of experience, no license, not even insurance, but all that has changed. Tonight, problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the results of her investigation. The governor has just signed into law a bill requiring home inspectors be licensed. This is a huge victory for homeowners because now the person you hire to inspect the largest investment you'll ever make will actually have to have proof they know what they're doing. A quick strike of the gavel signifies an enormous victory for homeowners. The deck is not bolted to the hub. Home inspectors in Rhode Island will now have to be licensed, experienced, and insured. Conditions that were never required until now. We had a bill in the House. We had a bill in the Senate. They both passed and the governor last week signed the bill. One of the biggest complaints we get into our Call 12 for Action Center is from homeowners complaining about inspectors who miss something during the inspection like water or termite damage. But now by law, home inspectors will have to carry what's called errors and omission insurance. That means that if they go out to a property and they miss something and the insurance company basically will cover part of that. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Home inspectors like Paul Brunetti have been fighting to get this licensing bill passed. It's important because the consumer really should 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 feel um, at ease that they're getting a good inspection and the, and the person has some credentials and some criteria. It will raise the bar for all of us home inspectors. Getting the bill to pass wasn't easy. It was actually passed over a decade ago, but never funded. But through public pressure and our reports exposed the lack of oversight, homeowners are now better protected. We look forward to this. I think it's something that, you know, through the efforts of people like yourself, I think it's something that's going to help the people in the state of Rhode Island. The Contractors Registration and Licensing Board will be the ones overseeing the Home Inspectors Licensing Program. There is still, though, a lot of work to be done before the law is implemented, but the hope is to get it up and running by the first of next year. And if you want more information about this Home Inspectors Bill, you can log on to our website, WPRI.com. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. We're tracking another news alert tonight. One toy company is issuing a voluntary recall of one of its products. Kids 2 is recalling the Baby Einstein musical motion activity jumper Sun Toys. Over possible concerns, it may cause injuries to infants. This includes any Sun Toys made before November 2011 with certain date codes found on the Sonin label. If you have one of these products, you're asked to stop using it immediately. Door-to-door -door mail delivery could be a thing of the past if House Republicans get their way. It's part of a proposal to overhaul the U.S. Postal Service. Now, under the plan, residents would pick up their mail from clusters of mailboxes located in their neighborhood. It would save the cash-strapped Postal Service about $4.5 <laughs> billion dollars a year. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Hi, right, skies getting stormy north and west of Providence, tracking a line of downpours and some thunderstorms. So we've got a live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and you can clearly see uh, the area that we're tracking was essentially a solid line from Boston through uh, southern Worcester County, Bristol and Plymouth counties, especially in northern Rhode Island. Look at the lightning tracker that we have turned on right now. Quite a bit of lightning strikes in the far northwest corner of the state, and it extends through uh, Route 395 in eastern Connecticut as this all tracks off to the south and to the east. We're getting real close here, especially in Providence County, where now a flash flood watch has been now converted to, to a flash flood warning. Quite simply, these cells are producing very heavy downpours, so some localized street flooding is likely as this line tracks off to the uh, east and southeast. In fact, we can get in even closer, and you can see this is Route 295 right in here, the Providence metro area, Pasco, Foster, and Boroughville, Woonsocket right in here, as this whole area tracks off to the east 
east and southeast. Numerous cloud to ground lightning strikes as well. The storm itself so far hasn't been classified as a severe storm, but that, then again, this is not just a passing sprinkle either. Very heavy rain, frequent lightning, the potential for at least some small hail along with some strong gusty winds. So the Providence metro area will be hearing from this uh, line of storms very shortly. In fact, we can take a look at where the watches and warnings are located. The areas in green is the flash flood watch, but just updated a few minutes ago, right in here now, Providence County uh, shaded now in red, in indicating a flash flood warning with anticipation of some uh, quick flooding. In fact, skies have gotten dark in downtown Providence where the sun was just shining 45 minutes ago. So you can see that line of storms getting ready to uh, work in into the Providence metro area. So if you're expecting a loved one home from the evening commute, this will certainly slow down some travel. Uh, where the rain has been coming down, the temperature has cooled to 75 in Smithfield while it's still 84 in Providence and upper 70s along the south shore. So the threat of rain and thunder and downpours is now until about 8 or 9 o'clock this evening. Thereafter, things will quiet down. So overnight clouds by tomorrow morning, early morning fog will burn off to some sunshine. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. We're nice and quiet. Tomorrow afternoon, sunshine, a very warm day, but you'll notice the humidity levels much, much lower. And then here we are tomorrow evening with fairly a quiet weather along with warm temperatures. So for this evening and overnight, well, first of all, the shower and thunderstorm threat is now until about 9 o'clock this evening. Afterwards, we'll look for some areas of fog to be forming late at night under mainly cloudy skies, warm and muggy. Partly sunny skies after the fog burns off early tomorrow morning as temperatures rise through the 80s, upper 80s, very warm to borderline hot, but what's significant, the humidity is not nearly as high. Small chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, but better part of the day is actually looking rain-free. Not bad for Thursday, dry and comfortable. Some extra clouds on Friday at 80. Right now, weekend is looking okay. The chance of a passing shower or thunderstorm on Sunday, not a washout. Looking at a temperature at around 85 degrees and overnight lows in the 60s and the 70s. The concern now is right now through about 8 o'clock this evening as these line of storms and downpours work from northwest Rhode Island towards Providence Metro and more than likely like what we had earlier this morning, some localized street flooding possible. All right, thanks, Tony. New at 530, we have more coverage you can count on coming up on Eyewitness News. A local fire department is going high tech. We'll show you what some new vehicles, the first in the state, can do coming up. A Rhode Island police officer faces a judge one week after he is charged with assaulting a suspect. Coming up new at 6, we hear exclusively from the wife of the alleged victim. Morning at 9 on the Road Show. Planning on heading to the Newport Folk Festival this weekend? What to know before you go? Plus, did somebody say road trip? We've got the best boredom busters for your family car ride. Join us for the Road Show Wednesday morning at 9 on WPRI 12. Getting a new Kia has never been easier than right now. Introducing our biggest event ever, the Kia Sign It and Drive It sales event. With zero down and zero due at signing, it won't take much to drive home in a new top safety rated Optima or a powerful Sorento. And both come back by one of these. So hurry to the Kia Sign It and Drive It sales event today because nothing this easy lasts forever. Lease a new Optima or Sorento today for zero down, zero due at signing for qualified customers. Growing up, mom never gave us big lectures on life. She knew we'd learn more just by watching what she did. Like getting out for some exercise or spending time with family. Doing things to help people, like giving blood. She'd say you don't have to be a doctor or a fireman to save people's lives. We can all be heroes. Webster Bank gets that this is my office, which means I get seaworthy solutions. Like ways to manage cash flow and make deposits. I get balance alerts too. And their certified business team goes the extra mile to help me succeed. Right then. With a dedicated Webster Type W personality, you can expect efficiency and expertise wherever business happens. How do you do a summer clearance event the Dodge way? First, wait till summer. Then, get the cars ready. Now, at the Dodge Park.
the Dodge Summer Clearance Event. During the Dodge Summer Clearance Event, get 0% financing for 60 months or $17.50 total cash allowance on Dart Arrow. Catch Tony Petrarca's live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast all day, all night, and weekends too on Light Rock 105 and online at lightrock105fm.com. A local city becomes the first in the state to receive high-tech rescue vehicles. They are equipped with state-of-the-art EMS computer system aimed at providing the fast emergency care. It's new at 5.30 tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Lance is in Pawtucket now from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. People living in Pawtucket will be able to benefit from this pair of rescue units that will soon be at the fire station. Two rescue units costing the city of Pawtucket more than $400,000 to lease are gearing up to pull out of this North Attleboro emergency vehicle dealership lot for good. They're fully equipped. Designed to handle a heavier workload, these trucks will replace the city's two current rescues that were bought back in 2009. The trucks combined make 11,000 EMS runs yearly. When we get on the scene, they, they have all the can run a code, you can assist everybody, anybody in whatever, any condition that we may find them in. Chief William Sisson says keeping patients and firefighters safe inside the units is key, which is why these 2013 models will have extra airbags and the ability to make for a smoother ride. And a laptop will be installed right here. A state-of-the-art EMS computer system will allow crews to file reports faster, a first for the city of Pawtucket. That'll be an asset to the city and be able to provide the, uh, the best quality of care that the, the citizens of the city of Pawtucket deserve. The units will be assigned to the West Avenue and Cottage Street stations. We can't wait to get them in, in service. Chief Sisson hopes to have these two trucks in his garage by Friday. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News. There's more local coverage ahead on Eyewitness News at 6. Susan Roberts is here now with the stories you'll see new in just a few minutes. Coming up, more drama in court today as the former partner of reputed Boston mob boss Stephen the Rifleman Flimmy takes the stand once again. Coming up new at 6, hear what he's accusing James Whitey Bulger of doing with Flimmy's stepdaughter. Then a local city says a state new law affecting pit bulls does not apply to them. Why officials say they'll be sticking to what they've been doing.